I propose that maybe we need a price protection program for public health drugs and that we need to decide a public formulary. There's no formulary for the EpiPen. You've got it. A formulary works when there's competition. There are different drugs on that formulary for high blood pressure or insulin. The, the, you don't need a formulary. You're it. And you're it, except that in Canada and all over Europe, your drug is much cheaper. So I think we should import those drugs right back. We paid you to figure out the device, the application, the drug. Now we're protecting you with a generic. We're allowing you to do patient uh, assistance programs under the guise of trying to make sure that it's affordable. We create rebates and very complicated, you pay them, they pay you back. I say, let's demystify it. Let's make sure that Congress puts in real patient protection programs to prevent companies like yours from taking advantage of every policy aspect that was intended to make affordable health care. And quite frankly, as long as I'm on this rant, I'm tired of paying prescription drug companies and drug manufacturers and device companies to treat these issues. If we put the same kind of money that we're allowing you to keep to deal with curing allergies, we wouldn't be having this conversation about an EpiPen, would we? So I say we shift it instead of trying to, you know, pull out information where I, I agree, I think you've been far less than transparent. And I think we ought to do transparency legislation. I think there's a whole host of ideas where we could lead instead of being dragged down this path where we're upset for our constituents, when none of these prices on their own at these companies' hands will shift. They certainly haven't. Pharmaceutical companies and insurance companies and PBMs, where you tried to shift to PBMs, they are all making incredible profits in an environment where that profit-making environment has all been at the hands of policymakers trying to create a competitive, innovative, private sector, high quality investment to protect Americans. And instead, we've created that access around the world and we've left Americans holding, if you will, the financial bag. And I, for one, am tired of that. So I don't need any answers because I won't get any that are fair from you or your company, but I'm expecting Congress now to take a much different leadership role. And I thank my colleagues on this committee, and the leadership by the ranking member and the chairman. Because maybe, because of your greed and the other companies, maybe you finally put Congress into a position where bipartisan, we will have the courage to finally do what's right for our constituents. I have that courage. I believe my colleagues do too.